Okay, Victor, Victor Sajani. So Victor, one of the augment payoffs in the recent set. Augment says whenever you play a created card, grant me plus one attack permanently. And then round start, he's self-enabling. He creates himself these hexacores that give him random keywords and trigger all of your augment units. He levels up when you play eight plus created cards. And then his leveled mode makes all your created cards cheaper. Now, why in the heck do we want to pair Victor with Sajani? Well, Ballistic Bot here is actually a really great enabler for both. So this is one of the other augment cards in the game that creates an ignition every turn. And ignition is just this one mana card that hits your opponent's nexus for one. This helps us level Sajani while also triggering our augment cards consistently, which is really nice. So we have Nyandroid here as a third augment card. Just augment elusive for three, really good at helping us run people down and close games out. And then we also have that kind of uh, created card um, draw discard filtering package with rummage and sump treasure here both these cards pair very nicely with both ballistic bot and victor because victor and ballistic bot are creating us these non cards that we can then turn into real cards with the draw discard effects and then we also have things like oro cannon here which trigger our augments and also push damage early with their daring poros to help level sajani so she can come down to the mid to late game and get people so Let's go ahead and dive on into uh, some games with this and uh, see how it feels. Yeah, agree. And like the fact that um, landmarks misfortune scouts well, replaying the destroy target we are not we are not playing aftershock that might be wrong you might we might end up on aftershocks so this this yeah i'm gonna keep this and see how it goes there's a good there's a good chance this hand our, our deck doesn't have a ton of interaction as built there's a chance we want some more of that because our linear draws aren't good enough The, uh, the created yetis from the trappers are also technically a, uh, a created card for our augmenters. Once I stand papers, now faces. Pick up means I can rummage, ditch these two. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. <sighs> do I want to jump up or do I want to get Victor down? I want to get Victor down. Join the glorious evolution. The flesh bags will bow, break maker. Time for violence. Don't double sharp psych me. I guess Ranger's Guile's kind of sad for us here. I think getting to kill one of their things here seems like. If we death ray this and then we rummage, 
we could potentially hit the other death ray again. It does put it into the top three, so there is a there is a small chance we miss here. Just, just like we drew it up. Sounds about right. I think I want to trade either of these for these idiots. I'm happy to, ch to chump this into here, though. Especially if they want to trade this here. If we're really lucky, the Deathmark 3 will be on top, so we can blast Misfortune with that next turn. Poor thing. Can you improve perfection? Okay, so you're, so you're seeing there's a chance. Take a chance on me. What if I Hexacore upgrade and then Death Ray also? This cranks this up to six right away. Hey, right, third point's the charm, chat. Okay. Protect and strike. Barrier is not. He can gain spell shield, though. Regen. That's a pretty good one to hit. Looking for trouble. Uh, ephemeral is not an option for Victor to gain, no. Are they dead to the victor level? They might be dead to the victor level. This does two, this does two. We put some mushrooms into their deck. Are they dead? This will this will put Victor to. I don't know. We're gonna find out. We're gonna play our cards. And we'll find out. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Not quite dead. Close though. If they draw a mushroom with 10 mushrooms and 29 cards, they die to ignition next turn. Nailed it. Just like, just like we drew it up, chat. I mean, the regen technically didn't do anything, right? Rise, my metal brethren!
least Twisted Fate. I think my Android iterative improvement seems like a reasonable place to a reasonable direction to go. Kempunk. Kempunk seemed real mediocre so far. Let's see, let's see if he can get in a hit here, but. I guess if he trades with an Elise here, that's a fine exchange for us. In the Seems pretty likely. Come, stay a while. Save me, now there is new prey to stop. Meow. Meow. Yikes, if they double go hard this before I can iterative it, that'll be real bad for me. Sweet, okay. That, that is not happening, God bless. Without pause. So, Keep up, yeah, I, think, I think with this play here, I'd like to actually victor this turn. So that way I can start getting generations from him to pair with things like Faro Cannon. CO Twitch, thank you for the 20 months. I really appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. You were under the impression that the $600 had been vetoed. No. I think it was the defense spending bill that was that was vetoed. Was that it? I don't know. Washington, Washington's a mess. TLDR. Largely, largely because one political party is uh, benefits from it being a mess. Yeah, it was the defense bill that was vetoed, right? No, the increase, and this is why, this is why it's really convoluted. The increase to $2,000 didn't get vetoed. President Trump supports the $2,000 because he likes, he, he thinks it's good for him. And that's good. I'm glad, I'm glad of all the stupid shit he's done, this one would help people. Mitch McConnell refused to bring the vote to increase to $2,000 to the floor. So... The president did not veto that. The Senate Republicans who give Mitch McConnell power allowed him to refuse to bring that vote, that that legislation to a vote. You still cling to flesh and fur? Even the greatest mind likes this. Likes this. Behold me now, hairless apes. All evolution will converge to machines. That's brutal. I assume this is about to die to a, uh, a, a go hard here. Uh, Mitch McConnell won re-election this year. Hopefully, hopefully the people voting in the GA runoff will free us from a Republican-controlled Senate. They have they have the ability to do that. Mitch Mitch McConnell is a senator from Kentucky, a state that is very poor and has very low scores in education, which is why they keep re-electing Republicans. 10 of the 25 poorest counties in the United States are from Mitch's state.
we're using death ray here? I can't decide if we are. State level reads all the time. Kinda. So like their current governor, their current governor is a Democrat, but that has more to do with the person that he ran against previously. I'd be pretty surprised if he gets reelected. What you looking for? Suppose you want in on this. Ah, oh, suppose I should leave you. I think I'm just trying to high roll elusive here on this. Not quite, that's Fury. Johnny's nowhere near level yet, unfortunately. They notably don't have Ruination Mana here. So we can extend a little bit and not get blown out this turn at least. We could get blown out next turn. Is what's his name? Um, is Ron, Ron Paul is also from Kentucky, right? He's their other senator? Or am I misremembering that? Yes, he is. Man, something, Ron Paul. Yeah, something is very wrong with the people that, when they when they vote for senators in that state. That dude. That dude's got some opinions on stuff. I think I'm chumping with at least one of these. Uh, progress day and see what we get before we make this decision while blocking. with victor yeah that's a thought yeah victor has fury too i definitely should have hooked should have hooked the o3 with victor that's a good call i think i'm just i think i'm like all in on trying to continue continuing to try and roll elusive on him no materials, no improvements. well gerrymandering doesn't apply to state state elections little light so mitch mitch mcconnell and uh Mitch McConnell and, and, and Ron Paul are, uh, Ron Paul are, are state, state elected people. Well, we're not getting urinated. They could, they could pack our bags now, though. Yeah, state, state, state senators are elected by everybody in the state, so you can't, you can't gerrymander an entire state. Says you, Jeff. Did we finally get elusive there? We did. We did finally get elusive. I had to. I had to take a look. <laughs> One step closer. Victor. Victor getting uh getting spell shield early is good for keeping him alive.
Okay, I guess I guess that professes my ignorance, my ignorance of um my ignorance of state elections because each state manages their own elections. Are are senators in some states not elected by popular vote in those states? All senators are elected by popular votes in states. Okay, that, that was my impression, but the United States election process is jacked up enough that I would accept that I, I could be wrong on that. If all libertarians voted for Trump, he would have won. I don't think that's true. He definitely wouldn't have won the popular vote. He lost, he lost the popular vote by 7 million votes. channel for folks for folks that are new to the channel in case it isn't abundantly clear from the conversation the last couple of minutes uh, i am uh, what i would describe as aggressively progressive and we occasionally talk about politics on stream so if that's if that's a turn off i don't know find a different channel on twitch to watch i suppose i think i take this trade this card this card's been super underwhelming so far this is a real hard since um since the fearsome's deck fell out of the format a little bit this card's been much worse i think when it when it was valuable to have three power blockers for two more often this card was reasonable why aren't all senate seats up for grab in the same years uh because changing out the entire senate at the same time seems loose they're they're six-year positions I don't I don't know about I don't know about into individual individual states like that, but it definitely wouldn't have flipped the popular vote. I think we're just deploying Victor here, huh? Hey, thanks for the tip, Luna Lovelight. Twelve more towards Victor Heimer non-target, please. Sounds good. I'll get that adjusted in the queue after I'm done today. I really appreciate it. It's a good reminder for everybody, if you're new to the stream too, and you've taken a peek at the stream queue on my website, and you're not quite sure how the point system works, basically every deck in there gets points uh, based on the number of days it's been waiting to be to be played. Plus, uh, plus the amount of dollars or bits donated for it. You can also use channel points to bump things up in the queue as well. You copy the O2, you can discard it from Edge. That's cute. Why did I kill the small spider? Because my opponent's deck is a crowd favorite deck, so keeping their board small is advantageous. They're also a vision deck. Like, I would have taken two damage from that small spider. Yes, you and me, fishbone. Had I, uh... Frenzied Mage, thank you for the 35 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Feeling, feeling pretty dead. Metal is perfection. Damon, I love you. Me too, kiddo. Me too. Yeah, so like this Draven levels Jinx here with the axe guaranteed. I'm really confused, Chat. Their last card wasn't Vision. You think their deck's broken? 
feel I feel like they probably deserve compensation. Their last card wasn't vision. Like a bug. Oh. Hey, Victor, adapt, mutate, elusive plus life steal, please. Okay, okay, don't call it a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. No faces. This technically means we survive a second rocket next turn. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Got an axe with your name on it. Be still, I'm trying to shoot you. My work. Oh, we're we're dead though, right? Because they have they have this still. So this this means they have uh, they have open attacks. Although I guess the top three cards of my deck are um, there's a what's it called the deal three in the top three cards of my deck a mock three. If we have mock three here, we could kill her. Never lucky. Never never lucky. Man, could you imagine? Could you imagine if we hit Mach 3 here? We might have actually been in this game still. We would have been able to do like this, this. And we would have been very close to lethal. We would have, we would have had them dead next turn, right? Thanks to the lifesteal. The Mach 3 got created three cards down though, unfortunately. Maybe they can't empty their hand, he said optimistically, looking at the spinning axe. Anything else? All right, we're gonna cut Kim Punk and maybe a couple other things. Let's take a look at this and push some stuff around. Kim Punk spell, real medium. It's mostly the card that's felt bad. Do I want? Honestly, maybe I just want some like get excited's in here. I have ballistic bot and some jury rigs to help power it. I just like jury rig and then to uh to uh to get excited. The Piltover Allegiance card. <laughs> oh. I guess we did we did see that I cannot spell allegiance. Make a map. I don't know. I feel like I want to touch more interaction and like get excited helping us race is good too. And we got like chump wump as well. Maybe, maybe this is better than chump wump. Let's try scavenger. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't have three scavengers crafted. <laughs> Sounds good, Triple D. Chump Lump is good, is good with, with rummage. What if we play... What 
if we do that in Trim of Sajani? Is there a another PNZ champion I want to play? I think so. Ooh, Jeff a wild card. <laughs> let's try it. Let's try this. Zoraka Kench. It's been a while. Our augment units get pretty big. This matchup might not be atrocious. He said, Hope, hopefully optimistic. The math this makes is free the turn you play it. Which is, which is these. We just take this opportunity to murder their board while they're tapped out, right? So, I actually think comments like Unknown there are very silly. So, like, they, the, the comment there is they don't like playing... They're glad that the Kench to Rocket deck isn't a thing anymore because they don't like watching their opponents play Solitaire. That's not the problem with the Soraka Kench deck. The Soraka Kench deck is overbearingly interactive. The reason why this deck can feel bad to play against is because it interacts with everything you do. A lot of, a lot of people in card games... And this isn't unique to Rune Terror. Magic players did this constantly too and it always irked me there. Is that... They use the word interactive when they mean it's not fun. And those, like, interactive means something. It means my cards are impacting your cards. And, like, things that are too interactive feel overbearing and tedious quite frequently. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not questioning your subjective feelings about how you feel to play against this deck. I have no doubt you dislike playing against it. But criticizing it for being solitaire or not interactive is very nonsensical. It's, it's objectively interactive. Yeah, it is. It's almost. It's it's too interactive. I mean, honestly, this some scavenger is actually looking really good here, potentially, right? Sure, but they're they're interacting with your removal, like they're they're playing cards to stop your removal, and their Kench is interacting with your board. Honestly, are we discarding Sajani to Poro Cannon here? I think we are, right? And then we're like. Hex core upgrade, Poro Cannon, and then we like do this next turn. Because if this rolls elusive, we can put the map on this. Honestly, if this hits here, it seems really good. Yeah, and car cards like Bastion are why I didn't try and interact with my opponent there. My opponent's deck has an incredible amount of protection in it. And generally generally speaking, I think you should just, like, it's wrong to try and interact with them. I'm not afraid. This is a wee bit play. No one knows these streets like me. Now, it is worth noting that my opponent's deck does tend to play copies of Hush as well. So this is not guaranteed to go through. Oh, I sequenced that wrong. If I would have played the sump map for free first, my other my other created card would have cost uh would have been free, right? And then I'd have one more mana this turn. Ooh, this is actually kind of sweet. So this is cheaper, so I can kill this first. Which means this can attack in. 
This beats Pale Cascade. It does not beat Guiding Touch. Means we're not getting hushed this turn, though, right? Put you to three. All right, starting to get pale cascaded here. Oh, they're just probably just triggering a uh, like Fire Fail Cascade. Oh, I could have eaten Soraka. Yeah, that's true. You're gonna need a map. Can you improve perfection? Not eating Soraka could cost us this game. It's a pretty big mistake. Star I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Finn. Humanity is obsolete. I mean, this is only hushed till end of turn. Of the star. I think the people that are saying I'm supposed to attack with everything there is, is strictly wrong. I think you're you're incorrect. They went up three here, so they were at six. They would have blocked one of my other fours. Shakedown's real good. We can we can make another map with it or improve it. Oh, interesting. When this goes back, fully heal me instead. Okay, it does count as healing. That's neat. Now I want to copy. I want to copy this. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. They're going up to ten here. I should play this pre-combat because it means we'd be guiding touch. Oh, I'll be happy to accommodate you, Pablo. 
Pentishia. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Well, damn. I might I might be sold on these support map, map, map makers, chat. That was kind of great. Like, elusive is always the keyword you're hoping to roll the victor a lot of the time. Yeah, he did he did some some major work that game. Yeah, I think Shakedown's probably a playable card. Seems fine. I actually don't know if the Freljord part of this deck is good. Someone just spent some channel points to bump up Victor Atrocity in the deck queue. And honestly, I might build the Victor Atrocity deck something very similar to this. Only with some atrocities at the top end is more ways to punk people out. I think it's probably a good a good direction to start start it in. So we're not attacking here. Breathe out. I think we just victor because that gives us something to discard with rummage next turn. Along with the jury rig. Hey Grexy, thank you for the, the two thirds of you. I really appreciate the prime. Welcome back. See what they do. I feel like I probably just want to put a bunch of pressure into play here. It is it is freezing rain here as well. We have uh, an ice storm warning until like five o'clock this evening. Like if we had like a 15, 15 hour ice storm warming warning. I'm I'm in central Illinois, about two hours south of Chicago. The Bloomington Normal area, if you're familiar with that. My opponent's deck is pretty controlling, which I think means I want to turn as many of these cards as possible into... Um, into actual card advantage long term. I also think we want to just Sajani this uh Sajani this uh this Zoe here. Notable for people not familiar with this interaction, there's no skill circle on Sajani here, so it cuts through spell shield. It's an important uh, mechanics thing about Rune Terror to note. Oh, I would like to try and murder your Zoe with this now. Let's see if they have another Nopify. Any thought on moving to a warmer, warmer climate? Nah, I really like where I live. My wife. My wife and I paid less than $300,000 for our home, and it is over 3,000 square feet, including a fully finished basement with eight and a half foot, nine foot ceilings. Land, land is very cheap where I, where I am located. What is gained when you return malevolence? Or 
For people, for people that are new to the stream, I live in a medium-sized town, but my house, like, there's literally a cornfield behind my house, so. I like, I like, I like living in middle America. It's nice. It has its perks. I think we're playing Trapper here, and then just smashing them with everything again next turn. Uh, Illinois Garthcast. I think I want to discard anything at the moment. I think I'm going to take the pass and see if we draw the 5-5 five five here. Breathe out. Huh. So, this is uh, actually a funny note. I don't want to play this right now because one of my top two cards is guaranteed to be a Frel Yeti. So, until we draw that Yeti... They just give their whole board lifesteal game winning Zajis, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Good afternoon. Morning, take you. Focus on me. To the person that I just banned that's saying they went to Texas for the holidays, fuck you. I have I can count on one hand the number of buildings I've been inside of since March. If you're going to act irresponsibly during a pandemic, at least have enough fucking shame to not broadcast it on the internet. People like you make life more dangerous for frontline workers and medical professionals and other people that have to go out of their homes so we can continue to function as a society. Over 300,000 people have died in the United States this year. Excess death reports put us closer to 400,000. Have a little goddamn respect. completely un unreasonable how many people don't take this se very serious thing as serious as it needs to be taken. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. I think we're gonna clap this year. Just try and stop there, their extra life game. Shrooming them for leveling up to Johnny. Their next had a lot of cards in it at this point. I think that's pretty unlikely to work. Maybe we should have done this a little bit sooner. Gives us potential to block Zoe. Enough stalling. Hopefully, if they're doing this in response, it means this is gonna die. A little decent open attacks next turn. I feel like we're behind here, but my opponent's deck also isn't in a region that has sweepers, so, like, we could have a shot. I mean, we never had a window where they were without deny up, right? I think I'm holding on to this, even though it will cost us mana later down the line, because I would prefer some flexibility on who I give it to. It's also a burst speed spell, so like I can wait till they attack with Zoe and then burst something and block her. Stand and fight. Morning, take you. Back, heretic.
It was soft to nopify too. Like they nopified us earlier this game. I don't know. I feel like we kind of have to just just like slam through them here. They don't have sweepers. We'll see if we'll see if Karma buries us. How does it compare to Magic or Hearthstone? The best way I can describe the gameplay of Runeterra is the people that created this game very clearly have played tons of different card games over the course of the last two decades, and it feels like they've really learned from the mistakes of every single one of the other games that's existed to date. It feels like they've taken this really fantastic blend of the best parts of Magic and Hearthstone and uh, and mix them, mix them very well together. We have a response base back and forth, and both players are playing on every turn. So you have, honestly, more interactive interaction than the average game of Magic. But there isn't this super rigid priority system where you have to say okay to everything that happens on the stack. Really, really good balance. Awaken Forces, thanks for the follow. And Vizelli, welcome to the channel. Do we have a G-E-R-D? Does that stand for graduate degree? What's, what's G-E-R-D stand for? I feel like I've heard that acronym before. If you're interested in getting into Runeterra, I have a short like 12 minute how to play video here. Or how to how to get in. It doesn't teach you the rules, but it teaches you how to learn the rules. Gerd is heartburn. Why would you ask me if I have heartburn? That's such a weird question. Is something to do with how I have a strong, confident voice? That could that could be it. Would you would you feel better if the stream if the stream sounded like this? Would this make you feel more comfortable rather than a strong strong voice that's confident voice as for those of Twitch streamers you prefer? Elwins, thank you for the 34 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Good afternoon. <laughs> It makes me more uncomfortable than I was expecting. God bless. All right, I think I'm going to keep the rummage with the jury rig here. Mulligan these, looking for some other cheap uh, augment enabled cards. Yeah, perfect. So we'll get to Ballistic Bot on two, and then we can rummage ditching the ignition and the jury rig on three. Yeah, on a, on, honestly, Violet Journey, the Zoe Karma deck kind of kind of looks like it plays out more like a tempo deck than a control deck. Because, like, Targan and Ionia don't really have um, hard answers to things like a control deck would want. But it does kind of keep the opponent off kilter with what it's doing. My flesh was weak, but look at me now. Can, uh, we can put put a Yeti into our deck here too before we uh oh well that's rude not not quite at 420 quotes yet I think we go ahead and victor here. 
It could be right to Niandroid, and then, like, we could go Niandroid Yeti, or, like, if they tap off a of protection, like, if they play a Kenshir, we could Death Ray this. Easiest, easiest pass of my life, Jet. Try and kill this before they can attack and heal it. If they don't have astral protection here, we can kill it with get excited. Think I'm ditching the cannon here. I could be wrong though. Elusis could be a route to victory. I want to get excited in response to this here because this way um another guiding touch doesn't save it because they guiding touch it right now it only has four toughness <sighs> all right i'm only gonna play one more so i'm gonna go ahead and call it on here feels pretty over and again like that's a good example, but people complain about that deck. They say it's not interactive, but, like, they interacted a bunch there, right? Like, I did a thing, and then they did a thing back to protect their stuff. It it has an obnoxious amount of interaction. Elise. Great. I keep the Trapper. I assume against a Karma deck where the beatdown. for now they're a shadow isles deck so like they could have things like a whale in their deck so like going in on poro cannon when it's not triggering augment seems loose it's only interaction when i do it jeff when they do it it's toxic <laughs> big big card game player energy with that that coming gingered thanks for the follow welcome welcome Gift from the river folk. <sighs> Have a vile beast here. Oh, go hard, sure. Oh, it's spooky karma. There's spooky karma with elite. Got it. It can it can copy their followers. Guard this card this card's super flexible. I've been pretty impressed with it in general. Wasn't spooky karma very middling? Yes. This is like an above average turn four. I haven't been super into the Frel Splash, but this is kind of sweet. <laughs> I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Yeah, and like, like, and now they're just going to, they're just going to make a bunch of two ones that I can never attack into, right? And we're going to die. Now there is no greatest talk. Meow. Meow. This is the way we pack our bags, pack our bags, pack our bags. This is the way we pack our bags early in the morning. 
You want to save the beam to kill a 2 1? Maybe? Flesh is a weakness we must shed. What do you know of shedding? We're gonna pour a cannon, overwrite this, I think. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm supposed to save the other Poro Cannon instead of the sub treasure. what this was doing i don't really feel like the trapper sajani part of this deck felt very meaningful or good um the addition of some some snipe scavenger felt really sweet and i feel like this is a direction i'd like to explore i'd like to explore in more in uh in this format the augment card specifically both ballistic bot and victor and like this already has elusive but like giving victor or bot elusive is a good way to close games out very quickly um death ray was kind of kind of mediocre um i'm not sure how i feel about poro cannon i guess it let us pump up our idiots pretty large a couple of times um it's kind of it's kind of mediocre into a field of uh of go hard and other pings though iterative improvement is a card that continues to overperform every time we put it in a deck i think um i think i would i would include i think i would include more of these next time but yeah i think i think uh, i would i would get rid of get rid of these two or get rid of this um i mentioned earlier during the set that i have a victor atrocity build around in in the queue and i think i'm gonna try something similar to this with a with a, a an atrocity splash out of the shadow isles to explore some of the details in this build some more uh, at any rate i'm gonna be done with rune terra for the afternoon if you're new to the channel thanks for dropping in be sure to check out my youtube channels including my top five video i posted a short six minute video that has five one minute deck techs in it of my top five favorite decks that include key cards out of cosmic creation in them uh, if you're new to the channel i also do some single player story driven variety stuff so for the remainder of the stream i'm going to be live for another couple hours still we are working through a playthrough of uh the final fantasy 7 remake on playstation so i'm going to go ahead and shift gears over to that for the rest of the afternoon i'll be back with more rune terra stuff uh tomorrow morning i go live at about uh, 10 a.m on the weekends at about 9 a.m during the week so i'll be back with more card games tomorrow morning at 10 a.m but i'd encourage you to hang out and uh enjoy some sweet uh some sweet video games with us are we were 24 hours in now first play through 24 hours in get this one booted up huh i was one of the lucky few to snag a playstation 5. happy new year patrick Get the previous deck uploaded to YouTube before we start. 